What's up, everybody? It's another episode of the Coast to Coast Podcast here on InsideCarolina.com, brought to you by Johnny T-Shirt. And we appreciate you joining us. This is a special edition, uh, kind of a quote-unquote breaking news uh, for the Inside Carolina Podcast uh, on the Coast to Coast. Um, I'm Joey Powell. With me, as always, Sherelle McMillan. Sean Moran may be here in a second, but as you can tell, Sherelle's in a special spot. Um, I'm in my normal spot, but we got news to break for you guys uh, as we sit here Getting ready for late night, um, it seems that Coach Hubert Davis and his staff have their first commitment from the class of 2023. And, Sherelle, why don't you tell us about Simeon Wilcher? Yeah, so I'm not on my porch, so I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bit thrown off with everything going on. Uh, but, yeah, he is a 6'3", uh, 6'4", guard from Roswell, New Jersey, and he just took an official visit to UNC actually last week. So we're within seven days of his official visit. And uh, he made the call to uh, UNC this week. His uh, lead recruiter was Jeff Lebo. Um, so a, a big commitment for him. I think his first is the primary assistant. Um, I have to go back and check on that, but I think it's his first. Uh, so just a big deal for UNC because not only do they have their lead guard in 2023, but also he's the highest rated recruit thus far uh, in the short Hubert Davis era. So a big pickup for UNC, a little unexpected, uh, I think, that they had some other guards that they were going to bring in for visits. But um, from what we can tell, Wilcher said that he saw enough and he went ahead and made his decision. Yeah, I think it's really cool that, um, you know, this is a, a first, like you said, the highest ranked uh, recruit, regardless of class, for Hubert Davis' staff. But uh, just give some folks some vitals on Wilcher. 6'4 combo guard out of uh, Rizal, New Jersey. Plays for the New York Wrens on the EYBL circuit. Um, based on 24-7's rankings right now, he's a top 20 kid, has been ranked even higher. But, um, Sherelle, what does it mean, uh, to go back to your point a second, what does it mean for Coach Davis to get a player of this caliber this early for the 23 class? I mean, again, we saw what he was able to put together so quickly in a short window for the 22 class. Now he's already on to 23, and this is a big get. I mean, the kid's 24-7 composite says five-star right now, but uh, you got to imagine he's going to be a five-star if he sticks around that top 20 ranking. So what does this mean for Coach Davis and his staff? You, know, you mentioned Jeff Lebo. What can Tar Heel fans, uh, I guess, attribute um, to this commitment? Uh, so full disclosure, the, the door is just open at the Smith Center as we're recording this. <laughs> so again, I'm a bit thrown off. I'm out of my element. Uh, but and it, another correction, I said Roswell earlier. I meant Rosario. It That's is right. a big, it's a huge, huge commitment for UNC because we've seen that lead guards are very, very important to whether it's Roy Williams or Coach Smith or Coach Doherty or Coach Guthrie, the lead guard in general is a huge deal for North Carolina. And I think uh, with Wiltshire, they secured him very, very early. Um, they brought him on a visit. They sold him on UNC. There wasn't a lot of name, image, and likeness uh, talk. There wasn't talk of immediate playing time. He really fell in love with the North Carolina culture and the camaraderie uh, that people Davis and his staff have. He mentioned it several times about it being really important that the entire staff uh, played and coached at North Carolina. Uh, that was a big deal to him. So I think what it shows is there are still uh, kids who are receptive to the type of pitch that we think Hugo Davis is going to give. Uh, it's not a playing time centric pitch. It's not a pitch about minutes or points. It's about love of North Carolina. And for Hugo Davis, I think that's going to be a confidence builder for him because uh, the game has changed. There, there, there aren't kids. Kids aren't as impressed by that sort of thing as they used to be. So when you can find one uh, who has those qualities, you want to count on it. And I think that's what he did. Yeah, and I think you, you did a great job in your recap of uh, Wilcher's visit last week, you know, talking about what he saw in practice, um, seeing the different, I guess, the different aspects of how the coaches plug themselves in. All right, well. <laughs> the party has started at late night. Uh, All right. Well, I'll, I'll mute you before I throw it back to you. Hang on one second. Um, so I think one of the unique things that um, that Sherelle's talked about was what Wiltshire was able to see when he came and saw practice and saw, you know, his words, how hands-on Coach Davis was, um, talking about how the different coaches were, were plugged in. I mean, I think it was really unique to say he wasn't looking for the pitch, to your point, uh, but he was more impressed with how things ran. And that, I think, would be a, a unique element to Tar Heel fans. You think that's fair to say? Yeah, for sure. I think you're uh, Hang on, bro. You muted again. <laughs> you, 
You muted yourself. There you How about go. now? Okay. Yes, now I can, I can. Uh, yes. So to your question that I forgot, I do think it's very important uh, for Hubert Davis. Uh, again, that pitch about sailing North Carolina, that is a huge deal because, as people have said a lot of times, North Carolina fails to know, but it really isn't anything they have to do. All they have to do is say, watch us practice. Uh, watch how we play, and if you like that, if that's something that you think you want to be a part of, then, then come join. That's the type of language that they use. It's not about um, any particular thing. So seeing the practice, uh, seeing how Hugo Davis ran them was, was a real big deal because, you know, we haven't seen him as a head coach. And I think maybe Wiltshire came into the visit, perhaps, knowing that he liked to see more than we thought, and the practice was just confirmation of that fact. Yeah. Well, dude, we're going to let you go because it sounds like things are about to get turnt at the Smith Center. Um, hate that we miss Sean Moran. He is in L.A. traffic right now, which everybody knows how this is. But as always, you can tune into Inside Carolina for more information about this commitment. Again, go back and read on the premium board. Sherelle's right up after the visit. Um, Sherelle, if I'm stepping out of line, man, let me know. But uh, I feel like there's been some really good news, and there will be some follow-up interviews after uh, Wilters, um, after Wilters try to had some some time for the dust to settle. But uh, again, big deal for Hubert Davis' staff. First commit for the 2023 class, uh, 24/7 top 20 kid in Simeon Wilcher, 6'4 combo guard or lead guard. I'm sorry, uh, out of Roselle, New Jersey, um, and playing for the New York Wrens on the EYBL circuit. So we apologize to everybody if you didn't get as much Sherelle as you wanted today. That is the nature of us trying to make sacrifices to get breaking news to you here. Uh, Sherelle, are you able to make any last-minute comments before we, we hit the eject button? Thanks for hopping on, Joe. We appreciate it. And uh, it's going to be a party this anyway. All right. Well, we, are, we look forward to hearing from you on how late night goes. Uh, but, again, big news. We appreciate everybody joining us. Appreciate Johnny T-Shirt for sponsoring. Check Johnny T-Shirt out. JohnnyT-Shirt.com right there on East Franklin Street. Um, but, yeah, big news to the Tar Heels. We appreciate you joining us here on Coast to Coast on InsideCarolina.com. For Sherelle McMillan, for the missing Sean Moran, I'm Joey Powell. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks a lot.